Welcome to Artie's Odds and Ends. My name is Artie, and this is my son Dennis, who has a bad habit of eating leftover crumbs that he finds in his belly button. And this is my show, where I sell a bunch of my old stuff out of my garage. And boy, do we have a special for you today. All orders over $20 will receive a voucher for one free night with my ex-wife. Actually, let's make it $10. The cheaper, the better. We got movies up the wazoo, and they're all for sale. Yes, 90% of them are VHS tapes. And yes, most were recorded off of my TV, but for 50 50 cents a piece, you really can't beat it. Who can forget such classics as Smokey the Bandit or Smokey the Bandit 2? And of course, Smokey the Bandit Part 3, my favorite. Here we got a bunch of old blockbuster tapes that I never returned, a quarter apiece. You see, Dennis, I told you we'd win in the long run. Thank you, Netflix. Is it Ernest movies that you're looking for? Well, we got a whole damn box full of Ernest movies. We got Ernest goes to camp, Ernest gets a DUI, Ernest shoots some smack under a bridge. Oh, it looks like we have a caller on the line. Go ahead, caller. Uh, yeah, hi, it's Bob, your neighbor. I just wanted to put in an order for 20 of those Ernest movies, please. Oh, okay, Bob. I can drop them off sometime tonight if you like. Oh, no, you can keep the movies. I just wanted to get that voucher so I can have my way with your ex-wife. Oh, I see. Dennis, go get another voucher. Our neighbor Bob wants to fornicate with your mother. Here we have some classic Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York movie posters. What about this Home Alone 3 poster, Dad? Ah, damn it, Dennis. I told you never to bring up Home Alone 3 again. We don't talk about that one. You're grounded from your glasses for a week. Ah, oh, come on, Dad. No, Dennis, that's what you get. I hope your blind ass has fun trying to read the overhead projector in school. Want to distract your kids while you get violently intoxicated on the holidays? Well, I got just the thing with these Tim Allen Christmas movies. Who can forget such classics as The Santa Claus, Christmas with the Cranks, and my personal favorite, That's Just Christmas Snow, Officer, Not Cocaine. We do have a few DVDs available, but they're mostly Pauly Shore movies, and I wouldn't feel right selling them to innocent people. However, I will sell Sell these Pauly Shore drink coasters for a buck a piece. Dennis, give me a beer for this Encino Man drink coaster. Chop, chop. Now, we don't just have a bunch of bullshit movies here. We actually have a few good ones. Dennis, how about we reenact some scenes from some of the iconic movies that we have for sale? My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Go ahead, say your line, Dennis. I can't read the cue card, Dad. God damn it, Dennis, just make something up. <clears throat> I may not be a smart man, but I do know what love is, Jenny. Um, I love you too, Forrest, but I love heroin a lot more. Once this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Let's go. Wow, that's pretty heavy, Dad. I mean, Doc, where are we going? We're going back to the 50s, Dennis, so you can play guitar at the school dance and try not to have sex with your mother. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Dr. Lecter, it's me, Jody Foster. I need your help. God damn it, Dennis, that's the worst Jody Foster impersonation I ever heard of. Redo the scene, let me show you how it's done. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Quid pro quo. Dr. Lecter, it's me, Jody Foster. The lambs, the lambs were screaming, they were screaming. You see, Dennis, that's how you do it. You have to pretend that you're a woman impersonating a man that's impersonating a woman. That's the perfect Jody Foster. Oh, it looks like we got another caller on the line. Go ahead, caller. Artemis, it's me, Sharon. Ah, it's my ex-wife, everybody. Hello, Sharon. How's Rick and his sweet, sweet Home Depot job? Artemis, why are a bunch of strange men calling me demanding that I give them my body for free? Oh, well, that's funny, Sharon. I used to ask you that all the time when we were married. Artemis, I'm serious. I know you're behind this. All right, Sharon, all right. I'm sorry, okay? Let me give you something to make up for what I did. What on earth is that? Well, it's a uh, voucher for a free night with my ex-wife. So now, you can go fuck yourself, Sharon. How about that? <laughs>